Macau, a post-colonial Chinese city, shares a similar background with Hong Kong. Yet, Macau does cultivate totally different cultures. In this video, I will bring you a more understanding about the image of Macau from two contents, colonial history and food culture. Let's see, let's hear, let's feel, let's smell, and that's it. Well, here is that. Let's introduce the typical landmark of Macau, the ruin of St. Paul's. During the colonial period, the Portuguese developed social welfare work in Macau, for example, setting up colleges. So, St. Paul's College was built in the 16th century. Sadly, the college was destroyed by fire during a typhoon in 1835. There is only a facade of the church remained, the ruin of St. Paul's. Close by, the archaeological remains of the old college stand witness to what was the first Western-style university in the Far East with an elaborate academic program. Nowadays, the facade of the ruin of St. Paul's functions symbolically as an altar to the city. It is placed the image of Macau as a living testimony to the Asian city built with Portuguese style. Oh, times to have afternoon tea, the Pacha Box. In the streets near the ruin of St. Paul's, there is one of the most well-known foods of Macau, the Pacha Box. Since the late 90s attracting many tourists, especially those from Hong Kong, it's famous for its contrasting texture of the extremely crispy skin and very soft in the pot. It makes people wonder how two simple ingredients, a pot chop and a bun, can be so unbelievably delicious. Mmm, yummy! Now, let's go back to visit the St. Dominic's Church. In the 15th century, the Ming Dynasty implements the closed-door policy. The missionaries were not allowed to enter China to construct missionary work, so they had to stay in Macau and lots of churches were built. St. Dominic's Church is one example, which found in 1587 by three Spanish Dominican priests and located in a peninsula part of the city. The St. Dominic's Church is built in a Baroque style and is a mixture of European local mechanist features in its design. The roof tiles and doors of the church made of teak demonstrate the use of Chinese style. The high altar of the church features a statue of the Madonna and Child, which is flanked by wood and ivory caved statues of several saints. It constitutes the unique assimilation of Chinese and Portuguese cultures in Macau. Then, let's go to the near historical site, the Lia Sinai building. As early as the beginning of opening up of Portugal trading port in 1580, the Portuguese in Macau slashed Capital de Terra, judges, and four prestigious businessmen to deal with the internal affairs of their community. After 24 years, a bishop established Senado and also upheld the first Portuguese election in Macau. The Senado system has continuously applied in Macau until the handover to China, so it had a great impact on Macau. It all happened in this Lia Senado building. After the handover, it became the headquarters of the Institute of Civil and Municipal Affairs. After a day of visit, it is time to have a traditional mechanic scene. Between 16th and 17th centuries, there was an increasing number of businessmen transporting goods by shipping. Before the ships arrived at Macau, it stopped by the coastal area of India, Africa, and Southeast Asia and brought the mixed culture of spices and food from those areas. Under the influence of Chinese cooking method and the use of ingredients, traditional Portuguese cuisine has slowly evolved to today's Macanese cuisine, for example, Peto de Cabidella, the blood duck. The Portuguese blood duck is a very traditional duck stew dish from Macau. It's a signature dish based in both Portuguese and Macanese cuisine historically. It combines duck cooked together with red wine and duck's blood to create a richly textured and uniquely tasting steam. It is best served in combination alongside with some rice to fully savor the flavorful sauce. Most restaurants in Macau offer this well-known dish. In conclusion, the image of Macau is always deemed as a cuisine city, but in fact, there are also profound historical and cultural traits. Except the commercial image of Las Vegas of the East, Macau has also the image of colonial world heritage in terms of architecture and food. Because of this special historical background, Macau has an image of the Asian city 
filled with Portuguese style, making Macau very unique even in the world.